umpire. No ball, Pakistan off the mark. As I say, good day to Sanjay Madreka. Shuffling across, so he'll pick up a run. I don't know whether it will be given as a run, no leg by a signal. Nice drive. That's a solid blow. And uh, that'll be first four for Pakistan. Courtesy Tafi Koma. Crashing shot. That was hit uh, with massive power. Good timing. So Ashish Nera starting uh, a little wide outside the off stump and paying the price. Late cut. Oh, amazing shot. That's gone away. It's well played, nice and straight. That's a good shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Bad on ball. Good timing. The outfield is just a little bit on the slow side. It's going to make it though. Beautifully played once again. Hitting the ball in the up and getting the ball in the right area. has had his timber disturbed, that is a huge wicket, that's the first one down and the Indian supporters and the players obviously are ecstatic. Well for the first time these Indians they are back into this game. Zaheer Khan, how well he has responded. He's been brought back into the attack. It was all the matter of pitching the ball in the right areas and on that occasion Tafiq Umar was hoping that the ball is going to swing away but it came back, surprised Tafiq Umar and the Indian baller Zaheer Khan has broken through. Tafiq Umar, after contributing 22 runs on the way back, 58 for one Pakistan. The 23-year-old Abdul Razak is entrusted with the all-important number three position for Pakistan today, averaging uh, just over 27. Strike rate is healthy at 70. And his experience is a quality all-rounder, this man. 124 games he's uh, playing today. Short ball, he's gone for it and he's hit it beautifully. That is a very, very good shot. Just the one bouncing over the rope. Gee, he picked that up quickly. Like you said, Hazy, that was a brilliant stroke. You know why it was a brilliant stroke? A few more than that, I think. Shot, great shot. Very, very well played by Said Anwar. Slightly over pitched that time and it got the treatment. Said Anwar has been very patient in the last few overs. Good stroke, square of the wicket. Excellent shot from Abdul Razak. Well, that's the best shot he's played. And the reason why he's successful with it is he's waited on it. Until now, he was looking to hit the ball hard, looking to take the cover of the ball, not on this occasion. He's played it late and timed it superbly. Good shot. That'll run away for four. Excellent stroke. And irritating for the bowler because it was the last ball of the over. 80 for one. Yes. And that's a brilliant catch. Out of the blue, Rahul Dravid has taken a stunner. Ashish Nehra picks up the second wicket. Trying to run it down the third man only to find the glove of Rahul Dravid. That was a brilliant catch. Abdul Razak, having played for a long time, he was looking to improvise. He was looking to play the ball fine towards the third man. But Rahul Dravid glove came into the way. Huge breakthrough for the Indians. World-class batsman. The highest run getter for Pakistan in one-day cricket. Gone over the top, first ball that is faced. One bounce and then trickles onto the boundary rope. You said about his walk, Amir, the way he walked in today, just looks different in Zimam. I tell you, the moment he walked out, there was a lot of confidence behind in Zimam. Look at that. He came down to the track with all the certainty in the world. And he's taken on Anil Kumble from the word go. Great start. We are coming into this innings, almost an embarrassing record. Just the 10 runs in the four innings. Oh, there could be a run out here. Good throw and he's gone. He's gone. 
The finger goes up. And yet again, we see Nzama Mulhaq being run out. Disaster is the word. Saydan were playing the ball. He was on the move. And Nzama Mulhaq calling for a run. That was his call. And Saydan were not responding. Huge wicket for the Indians. They are back. Pakistan, they are struggling. 98 for three. He's a good player, Yusuf Yohara. 126 matches, a healthy strike rate. And perhaps may be used to coming into this situation. That should be four. Hit well enough. And that will bring up Saeed Anwar's 50. He's been quite superb this morning. And 100 for Pakistan as well. Golden has pierced the narrowest of gaps on the offside. Saeed Anwar continues his uh, well, golden run. He's moved on to 62 and looking very good indeed. Ex Big shout from the bowler, Zahir Khan, just going down lakeside. A fraction umpire, Dave Shepard, is very experienced, we know that, and uh, he's not the slightest bit interested. It's well played, nice and fine. Third man has got some work to do, he's not going to get there. That is very well played. Anil Kumbla it was, he couldn't get across, but a fine shot to finish the over, get things back on track for Pakistan. This is soon enough. Beautiful shot. But out, clipped off his pads, and just as uh, Ramiz and I were talking about the importance of Yusuf Johanna staying out there, he's chipped one straight down deep square leg throat. It was a ball to be hit, it was a full leg stump half volley. He clipped it nicely, you heard me say beautiful shot, but the only problem was that it was in the air. Good catch coming in from the boundary. And India celebrate and get into a huddle once more. Johanna gone, 25 from 42 balls. And Yunus Khan playing his 74th match. 1,800 runs at a, a reasonable average of 30. And a fair strike rate, too, of around 70. Ooh, he's had to wait for that. He's got the toe end of the bat on it. Nero will haul it in. There it is, his 20th one-day international century, and I guess if you're going to get 100, get 100 against India in an atmosphere such as this. Ball in, clean him up, lovely Yorker from Ashish Nehra. Indians were looking for a breakthrough, and they've got it in the 40th over. Very quick, on target, little lazy in anticipating that length, played all round it. But a wonderful innings. We'll be absolutely delighted and so would be uh, the teammates. 101 of 126 balls, Pakistan lose the fifth wicket for 195. Well, he's had a bit of luck, but he's got four for it. And I guess that's all that matters. 200 comes up. A streaky shot, but the crowds will take it. Way here we go. Takes him on straight away. He will not let him bowl to it. Just a little surprising to see Dinesh Mongia coming uh, at the deaf end. Indians obviously uh, short on options. Right. Sharif Ganguly, I think. Here we go, but it's gone up too high, it hasn't got the distance on it, there's two under it, and safely caught, brave but clever, and more importantly, successful. Well, just as we were querying why Saurabh Ganguly has got Dinesh Mongia bowling, well, we know the answer now, he's picked up a wicket and that of Shahid Afridi, once again... Uh, falling to uh, an ordinary shot. 
Well, that's gone high in the air and uh, beautifully taken by Anil Kumble. Now there was uh, just about a collision there. Kumble must have shouted. He kept his nerves, kept the eye on the ball, and uh, that means Shahid Afridi is walking back after getting nine. Pakistan lose their sixth for 208. That's well played. Deft touch. Will give Yunus Khan the boundary. It's always uh, on the cards when Kumble is bowling. If he gives you width, you can use his pace. That's a good hit. A lovely hit inside out. One bounce over the rope. And a nice way to end the over for Rashid Latif. 235 for six. Now that's gone away fine. He's got some bat on it. And once again, a boundary to end the over. Two. Goes for the big one. Dinesh Mungia coming underneath it. And uh, he takes it comfortably. So in the quest of trying to get some quick runs, Yunus Khan has been dismissed. You cannot blame Bl uh, Yunus Khan to lose his wicket. He was required to do that. He was required to pick up quick boundaries for the Pakistani team in order to get a sizable total. 256 for seven, and Wasim Akram comes out to the middle. That's well played. Powerfully struck. Beats the man at deep point. Just what Pakistan wanted this stage. Akram getting the boundary. And this is a good finish for Pakistan innings. And again, beautifully placed. And this is a terrific finish for Pakistan. Consecutive boundaries will take them to 273. And that is a score they'll settle for after winning the toss and deciding to bat first. And especially after they lost three quick wickets in the later part of the innings, they have done well. That batting card, Saeed Anwar, held this Pakistan innings together. 20th 100 in one-day internationals, his third 100 in World Cup cricket. And he, so that's the target. 274 runs required by India. There are 50 overs available to get it. And the required run rate, just under five and a half runs per over. Right, so the two opening batsmen for India are there. Sachin Tendulkar and Virinda Sehwag are uh, out in the middle. They're ready to go. Of course, uh, they've got to get 274 to win to India. Pakistan won the toss early today. Played absolutely right, superbly with Saeed Amwa, the top scorer. He got a magnificent 101. And we're just about set for this all-important game. It has been a thriller minute so far. It is a crucial game, obviously, for both teams. Sachin is an outstanding player. 309 matches he's played now. Almost 12,000 runs in one international cricket. An average of 44.3. And Vrinda Sovak, his partner, 63 games. Getting close to those 2,000 one international runs, and that average is just a shade under 35. His strike rate is just under 100. And the great Wazim Akram is about uh, to start proceedings from the West Lane end. And a little bit of swing coming back in towards Sachin Tendulkar. He'll be the key wicket, of course. As Akram has an outstanding career, picked up his 500th one-day international uh, wicket in this tournament. The economy rate is outstanding as well at 3.89, best of 5.15. So he... Tendulkar on his way in spanking fashion. It wasn't all that bad a delivery, but the timing was exquisite. Lovely way to get off the mark. A little bit of width, didn't cut at that one, it was a back foot push. But important, importantly, the placement was uh, absolutely spot on. Great timing from uh, the little master, he's away. Yes, Akram fractionally short and Tendulkar pouncing on it. The length will change. Get the single on the onside this time. Gets that away. It's gone away fine. And into the boundary. Nine of the first over. India nine for no loss at the moment. And Ramiz, you can already see that this is a, such a good pitch for batting. And really, from the bowler's point of view, there's hardly any margin for error. That's right. I... Where goes Akhtar? 150k, that second delivery. 
So he's quickly into his stride. Sachin's quality is uh, his adjustment factor. He wouldn't really be uh, taking that front foot stride to Shweb Akhtar because he needs to adjust to the height and bounce and pace of the bowler. Very, very clever customer. Sachin, that is the reason why he's a star. Almost 12,000 runs, 3,400, just remarkable. And over all that period, a strike rate of 86.4. And he goes after that one, and it's six. Just using the pace of the bowler. But that's gone away in a flash. That is cricket at its best. Being made to stretch and uh, really hats off for middling that wide one from Schwab. Superb shot. This is tremendous batting already. Oh, great timing. That was just a gentle push. And what an over for India. 27 for no loss after two. Turn. Very close to the uh, edge. Tafi Kumar will hold the ball. Oh, direct hit would have certainly got him out. Absolutely no doubt about it. Watch here, he looks at the back. And then is late to take off. A direct hit. And it was bye-bye, Sevag. This time it's Seva with the uppercut. Well, this is incredible hitting. Once again, the width was provided, and uh, although he had his uh, one palm out of that bat, but it sailed away. <laughs> Turned away on the onside. This outfield is picking up. A boundary to end the over. 11 runs coming off it. After four overs, India, 39 for no loss. Oh, that's glorious. That's been struck with tremendous power. That shot, but it was played uh, with great deal of power. And placement to perfection. Once again, overstepping, but this time uh, the umpire didn't take uh, notice of that. And a big roar as uh, India raises their 50. Come and just in the air, taken. Wakar Yunus getting the ball pitched up. Seva going on the drive, hitting it upishly. Afridi making no mistake. And Pakistan draw first blood. Because of clever piece of captaincy, I think uh, that fielder was uh, beautifully placed by Wakar Yunus. Sarinda Se Verinda Seva very much in mold of Sachin Tendulkar and like him, just a little casual at times in that area. Spot on, Shahid Afridi taking a neat catch. And so India lose their first wicket for 53. Willie, the captain, comes out to the middle. <laughs> That's wrapped on the pads. That is close. He's a big duck. That was always going to be out. Caught on the crease. A double break here for Pakistan. It's in place, I think Saurav Ganguly was expecting this ball to leave him. And it came back, it held its line and spot on. Excellent bowling. He had put a doubt in the batsman mind, batsman's mind by having that third slip in place. Wonderful bowling. Straightforward decision and Pakistan will double break. The Indian captain goes back for not in India. 53 for two now. Kev comes out on a hat-trick. Two wickets and two balls for the Pakistan captain. The last man to be dismissed, Saurav Ganguly, first ball. And really, if you're on the outskirts of Pretoria or even in Johannesburg, get to the Centurion, this is a happening place. Very good over. Just three runs of it. Two wickets, that's important from Pakistan's point of view. It's 53 for two. might live to rue that. Abdul Razak, great effort, but sometimes those have just got to stay in your hand. 
Good see Wasim Akram telling Abdul Razak he should have been on the circle, the edge of the circle. If he was there, that would right down his throat. Two overs, two for 14. First ball he bowled, went for six. <laughs> on the ground. Quality stroke. Quality stroke. Great effort, but it's gone for four. How did a man who's only five foot six or whatever he is hit that through there? But this is one. And contrasting starts. Pakistan haven't lost a wicket till the tenth over. Oh, oh, oh! My goodness me! Beautiful. Fifty in thirty-seven balls. And he's signalled all along the ground. Well played. Beautiful shot from Kaif this time. Shaib trying to go full. Kaif up to it. And it continues. That'll run away for four as well. Only just, but it will. And so it goes on, 98 for two. That's away. That's a good shot as well. Gee, that's a beautiful shot. A little bit leg side from Waka Yunus, a dispatch for four. Really Kutz will be getting a sore arm. Not the right line to ball. And again. Glorious stroke again, didn't try to hit it too hard, over pitch by Waka Yunus and it goes straight back past him for four. Once in no time, beautiful stroke. The ball was there to be hit and Mohammad Kaf was in a perfect position. Wasn't looking to hit the ball very hard, just timed it beautifully, straight past the baller. It's such a nice simple technique from Mohammad Kaif. Whipped away, good shot, very good shot. Full toss that time from Shah Bakhtar, and that is dispatched with ease. So the run feast continues. That's away. Gee, I don't think it went uh, exactly where Satch a minute ago, but uh, he'll take him. That was a good delivery. Not that uh, Indian supporters will not want to see. Sachin Tendulkar on the ground getting uh, some treatment. Maybe uh, just a little bit of uh, cramp problem, perhaps. It is very warm out there in the middle at uh, Super Sport Park at Centurion. It's warm out there. Straight back past the bowler for four. No ball as well, so that'll be five runs. Great shot again from Tim Dorka. What a treat this is to watch. There is no stopping. Even if he's... High elbow, great balance. Good follow through. That's a beautiful shot that's got past him. And it just might run away from him. It does. It's gaining on the fielder. What exquisite timing. Well, it's generally been good, but that boundary also getting uh, India their third wicket, 100 run partnership. Yes! Bowled him out. Inside edge, I think. But the breakthrough Pakistan needed now. Can they capitalise on that? Waka Yunus calling the men in. As Mohamed Kaif makes his way to the pavilion. Well, Afridi had just flighted the ball, hoping that the batsman would miss it, and exactly that is what Mohamed Kaif has done. Pretty innocuous delivery, bringing it back and hitting the stumps, and, uh, well, major breakthrough now. Can Pakistan capitalise on this? What replaces Mohamed Kaif? He's played over 200 matches, 6,000 runs, wonderful record, averaging nearly... Good luck! Players have catch it, and it's gone through the hand of uh, Shahid Afridi in the air for some time. He had to dart across to his right and couldn't snaffle it. Didn't get it. It's a good shot. It's a great shot. It's picked the gap through, extra cover for four. Stand and deliver. 98. 98 not out, Tendulkar. Short ball, quick ball, might be out, is out. Shah Bakhtar has come back into the attack. The first ball that Tendulkar has faced when he's got a runner, he's been dismissed.
Shahbakhtar, that was a very, very quick delivery. Just under 150 k's per hour. Took him by surprise. And he's on his way back. What, the, what an end. What a dramatic end to a magnificent knock from Sachin Tendulkar. And this spells danger for India. Look at the Pakistanis. They're all charged up. They have this reputation of coming back into the match. This is a great delivery. The break may have just uh, disrupted the concentration of the man. Not 100% fit as well. Shoaib Akhtar comes back after conceding 18 in the first over. Gets an opportunity to come back and he's done well. So Tendulkar hobbles away. One of the greater innings that you'll see in one day cricket. 98 of 75 balls and India 177 for four. But uh, bang on target with his first delivery to Yuvraj Singh, who's new to the wicket. 65 matches he's now played, Yuvraj, but uh, what an important wicket that was of uh, Sachin Tendulkar. Almost unplayable, steep bounce, well directed. Tendulkar in one day cricket doesn't look to duck into bounces, looks to play at it. And also good support from the fielder, Yunus Khan at point. Desperate lunge, forward to the ball, taking his eyes off, unplayable. Great delivery. That's what played. That's a very, very good shot. That's not a bad way to get off the mark. Four runs to get things going for Yuvraj Singh. Seven runs off the over, but the important work of Sachin Tendulkar. 181 for four. That's driven handsomely through the offside. Yuvraj doesn't bother to run. That's a trademark cover drive from the left-hander. That's in the air, he gets some bat on it, and this will race away to the boundary. That's a poor delivery from Shahid Afridi. And Yuvrat Singh has done well to get some bat on it. It's just a matter of getting the bat on the ball. It was... Thank you, Ravi. As we see that one uh, go away to the boundary, so... Uh... Indians now moving uh, very, very nicely. Beautiful shot. Nice drive. Well, he's a sweet timer of the ball, Yorat Singh. And he'll enjoy this from uh, Shahid Afridi. Once again, nicely struck. Now the fielder uh, was up in the circle that cover feels meant. Shoaib has got a long chase and then he returns, but not before. And that's when have completed three. And once again, uh, beautiful timing. That is a fine strike. Just eased it through the covers for four. Very, very well played. And the flags are flying all over the show. And also the boundaries. Exquisite timing on that occasion from Yogaraj Singh. Wasn't a half volley, but using the pace of the ball beautifully, hitting the ball into the gap. Perfect way to execute. And the point, Vakar Yunus was able to bring the Pakistani team back into the game. That's a beautiful stroke. Only four runs required now to win this game. And he's only one run away from his 50, Yuvraj Singh. He has played. There's the 50. Single to bring up his 50. Yuvraj Singh can be very, very proud of this knock. And the smile suggested that. This partnership was very important for these uh, Indians. Having lost a strike, he's on 40. The partnership's worth 95. Short ball, has he put it away? Yes, he has, that's it. India have done it. A boundary to finish things. The crowd here at Supersport Park, Centurion are going absolutely berserk. What a terrific performance by India. Rahul Dravid, a very sensible knock from him. Sarah Ganguly is getting all the accolades off the field. And interaction from the players, Pakistanis, big smiles and shaking the hands of Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh. The end of what has been a classic encounter. It's been a terrific game of cricket. And India win by six wickets.
Buckley. Now, there's the star of the show today. Sachin Tendulkar, one of the best knocks you could ever wish to see from Sachin. And Dravid and uh, Yuvraj Singh finishing proceedings for India. And then... ...for that 98. Outstanding performance for him, including 13 fours and a couple of sixes. Runda Sawag was also pretty brisk at the start, 21 off 14. Sarav Ganguly got a first ball up from Waka Yunus. Mohamed Kaif also did the job. He uh, played the sheet anchor role for Tendulkar. 35 off 60 balls, and uh, they shared a valuable partnership, those two, of 102 in 98 deliveries. And then Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh, their partnership was 99 in 109 balls. So a good performance from them. 276 for four, and they chased that total down.